What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Vesta self-powered uh, indoor-outdoor, I guess you would call it heater and stove. I'll explain how that works in a second, but in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this device, including one thing you should know before buying. So guys, my opinion, this is something that anybody who does uh, camping remotely seriously or lives off grid or anything like that would want to get. It's a pretty cool device. The things that it can do are awesome. Uh, the way that you're seeing it's, it's set up right now is as a heater. And then we can actually remove this thing here uh, pretty easily, just lifting it up and everything. And it can become a grill. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I wanna do it carefully here. No cords or anything attached, but now it is a grill, right? Uh, and it's pretty neat how this works overall. So basically what you do is you can go into here, you can pull this out, pull that out real quick. Uh, and you have to put these canned heats, which as I say on them will last for about six hours. Uh, and they do. Uh, so you basically put them, you start with this one. And then if you need the others, you can throw them onto here, whether you need them or not, you know, depending on if you're using the heater or the grill or whatever it may be, you basically can add them onto here right? And then the way that it works is, honestly, I don't really know how it works, but it's kind of ingenious. So when you have, you always want to put the first one here. And the reason for that is that if you are using this as a heater, right? If you're using this heater, what happens is this fan that they have right here, there's a little fan in here, it is actually activated by heat. So I don't know the science behind it. I don't know how they do that, but it's activated by heat. So if you're in a tent uh, or you know any type of cabin, anything like that, and you need some heat and what you have isn't doing it, you basically can just take one of these, you can put it into here, and then over time, it takes you know a couple minutes or whatever, but the fan will basically turn on and then blow all the hot air out when it's stacked on top here. Obviously, as you see, I removed it. So in this particular instance, what we can basically do is take this canned heat, you put it there, and you can see the grill. And this is the grill right here, right? Uh, and you can also, what what we have done um, is we've actually put a, like another, I don't know, like a, a basically another grill kind of on top of this um, to keep these really, really clean. Uh, also, it just helps because the one on top of it has, you know, th I mean, this can fit like a piece of bread through it, right? It's pretty, uh, pretty wide. So that would be my one complaint about this. But you can basically put something on here and then you just cook it over the candle. Uh, if you want to call it a candle, I mean, it's really canned heat. It lasts a lot longer than a candle. But you put it over that and then it will cook everything and it cooks it really, really well. So yeah, guys, obviously just an awesome device if you, you know, I'll show you the backside here. There's nothing really to it. Um, some handles here and everything. Uh, and then, you know, this is where the snuffer just actually goes into here in the store there, which is nice. Um, but some things to know about this before you use it. So there's a, a few things. So first off, it has it all over it. It gets really, really hot. If you have two, three of these things in here, um, it gets really hot. And that's kind of expected. I mean, it's being used as a stove. This thing, if you want to, can even boil water, right? Um, that's how hot it gets. So it works really well. But obviously this gets really hot, so be careful of that. In addition, another thing that you should be very careful of is that this requires ventilation. So remember how I mentioned a tent earlier? Um, we've actually used this in a tent. We put a board under it because we didn't want to you know, burn our tent or whatever, but we put a board under it and you can use it that way, but you have to have ventilation. So make sure that you're providing ventilation to this. If you don't, it could be a bad situation. You obviously don't want to do that. Um, but this really works really well. It's an awesome device if you camp and it's kind of cool like we do. I love doing it. But when the cold comes a problem at night, you know, it's one of those issues that you can deal with. And one of the best ways is just throw one of these in here. Man, you can just pass out and you're kind of living the dream. It's <laughs> it's pretty neat. Just the fact that you don't need any power or anything like that is really freeing. Really, really cool experience using this thing. Absolutely love it and highly, highly recommend it for those that are off-grid, campers, etc. 